Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to look into something very interesting. We'll look into Lottie files which people don't talk about much but this is uh, one thing that's going to help us find a very quick animation with very less work. So to make your you know app look more you know interactive, nice. So uh, this is the URL I'll provide this link in the description box below um, but what you can do is for example you want to make an ad related with sorry location so you just need to tap it and then it will provide you all the set of animations that's related with location so you can choose one of them and add it um, I just chose one out of all this and I'm going to add it I've download it here you just like need to click on it and so let since I'm doing it let me take a good one so I think that this is a good animation so let's go for this okay so with this you can adjust the speed and everything um, I'll, I'll show you how to do that most probably I'll need to speed up this you need to download it in JSON format Okay, the easiest. Uh, cross it, and then you have this um, blog that they uh, wrote, the Lottie Files wrote, how to get started with this. So you can go through it, understand it. Uh, so quickly, we will copy this and add it to our project to sync with. So first, um, empty activity, and then I'll just write. Um, location app to because location app one is there already uh, just finish let it sync and then we will add in the project I mean the implementation it's the same there's a code already written here we are going to look into how to add all this um, I'm, I'm not going to use the constraints as you know it I'm going to use um, most probably relative layout okay so once this is done you are going to add it in the gradle files in here um, the Lottie files and let it sync so there are lots of misconception going on regarding splash screen that you need to use some extra library or anything you you can use not an issue but if you want to show an animation and you want to show it for some time, you do need to add in some, um, you know, handler for that. Um, okay, so this is already synced. Now I want a new activity, uh, which will be of splash uh, screen. So I'm going to do an empty activity of splash screen. So let me name this flash screen okay once this is done we are going to add in few things here first thing is we're going to copy this okay and then after that we're going to add it in uh, in activity splash screen okay so let me split this up um, let's keep this as related layout and add this here right and they are asking for some raw folder so this is rest raw folder which you can create by clicking like right clicking on it um, new folder and you click on it you get raw uh, re resources folder so you just click on finish and that's it we forgot to do one more thing that is in Android manifest we have to keep the splash screen as the uh, main activity so that um, when it loads it should load with the splash screen first once that is done, we are going to uh, look at the splash screen and try to, um, you know, move it 
after like move it to main screen after this is loaded okay so maybe we'll give it like five seconds and then we will go to the main screen fine so I'll quickly add a handler here okay and then we will do a post delay of um, with new runnable and we will add in um, five seconds okay and then after that we will quickly intend it so intent equal to new intent uh, from splash screen so we will put it to main activity dot class okay once that is done we are going to add in a start activity of intent fine so i think that should do that should that should make it go to main activity after five seconds okay so let me quickly run that It's just doing once uh, I'm looping it still it's not working so let me try with some other thing so let's try with some other JSON I'm not sure why it's not working with this one so let's try with the new one GPS and Let's see if it works. So, yep. Uh, this at least it's moving a little, and then so I think I'm I'll keep this GPS Jason. So we also need to remove the title bar because that does not look good on splash screen. So we are going to use no no action bar for now and then we are going to add um one code here so okay so i i think we can't add the code here so what i can do instead of doing no action bar here let me go to the default one that they have provided in style which is here here I'm going to use no action bar uh, so that will keep the default and also I'll add this line so that um, this actually prevents the preview the few seconds that goes by on core boot it removes that and it, it it's a, like a temporary hack that I would use normally now there are so many people who would use a static image instead of that so you can do that as well, not an issue. Um, so let's have a look. So this is how it's going to look like and after that, hello world is gonna come in. Fine, I think that's it then. Thank you so much for watching today and hope you guys learned something out of this. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.